Hashem, we are holding in this uh, very holy, holy time. Um, in Israel, we're already in the eighth night of Hanukkah, and in Europe as well. In the U.S., we're about to enter to that uh, holy zone. The completion of the days of Hanukkah by the method that we learned and were guided by Bet Hillel, the house of Hillel that set the halacha for us that in each day we're adding another um, candle to our Hanukkiah, to our menorah, is a great expression of the loving kindness of our Maker to His children, to the ones who carry the light in their hearts. So, the eighth day is the day that <coughs> reveals the complete illumination and not only that it is a great illuminating day that great light is shining in it, we need to remember that that amount of light is not only a great light that comes down on the eighth night and like, whoa, thank you Hashem for giving us the great mitzvah of lighting eight candles of Hanukkah in the eighth day of Hanukkah. We're also enjoying the fact that we were lighting one candle in the first day and two candles in the second day, three in the third and on and on. Because every candle that we're lighting in the next days, in the second and third and fourth and eighth, are the first candles that we'll lit and the new one that we're lighting today. So in every day we are reminding ourselves not only of that wonder that we are enjoying from and experiencing today, also we understand that it's based on the wonders and the miracles that happened to us in the past. And this is a very important lesson for us to remember that Hashem, like we say in the prayer, Zocher Chasde Avot. He remembers the kindness of our ancestors, of our fathers, of our mothers, all the tears and all the sweat and the blood and the effort and the screams and the prayers and the the simple requests and the innocent intentions of our ancestors, everything is walking with us and opening the path for us. Think about the fact that the generations are getting smaller, getting weaker, getting um, less holy in the mind and in the ability of our minds and the purity of our hearts and it's a known thing that our ancestors hearts and their mind was so big so open so wide so holy and contained so much and was such a pure vessel to contain and maintain holy light of our maker and today because of all the troubles and the bloodshed and the the challenges and the exile and the fires and water and all the fear that we experienced and our fathers and forefathers, everyone experienced, we know that we're not able to hold and to contain the same amounts as the holy prophets and the sages and our ancestor was and did. So how can it be that in a generation that people in it are so broken and so lost and so confused as we know that we are and not so pure and holy and highly as our ancestors was, were? How can it be that the redemption will take place 
in that generation, in the last generation. How can it be that it did not happen back then, in the earlier generations, when people were so holy, were so righteous, were so pure and so strong and powerful and wise and perfect? The answer is that even though that they were gigantic and super powerful, they were not able to complete the job. And even though that we are so weak and broken and so shaky, we are the ones that Hashem, that the Creator, wants to have the merit to complete the job. And we are completing the art and the work and the effort of our ancestors. And we are walking in their path and we're continuing their light. And we are just <coughs> passing the torch that we received and got from them to our children and to our grandchildren and to the next generations. And that is a very deep and important intention to hold. The light that we enjoy, the spirituality that we access and we can find in our lives is the outcome of effort of great people that were here, that were seeding and planting for us and we are harvesting the fruits of their labor and it's very important to remember gates of tears never been closed never been shut down gates of praises and honesty never been closed and never ever been blocked and all the prayers of all the righteous ones of all the innocent souls that ever went up to the sky are standing and holding those gates open the gates are open because that prayers are keep on entering through them and this is why we are here by the merit of our ancestors and this is why also in those holy days of Hanukkah we are mentioning that saying over and over mentioning it again and again that the wonders and the miracles that are taking place in our days, Nisim, Shasala Avotenu, Bayamim Ahem Bazmanazeh, the wonders that we're experiencing today are the wonders that Hashem did to our ancestors in their days, but in that time. In this time, we can enjoy this light that is shining every year and year. And it began back then in all times, in ancient times, and even before Hanukkah, even before the Maccabim did their great thing, the light was already shining and prepared for them. They also received that great torch of the candles of Hanukkah from their ancestors, and their ancestors from their ancestors, and on and on, till that beginning of time, till the time where the light of kindness started to shine in the world. And we as children, we need to remember that gratitude, appreciation, and all that honest way of thinking is very essential for the flame to shine. When you know that you received the flame to your wick, to your candle from a higher source, with one flame you can lit endless amounts of candles and it is in our power to shine to thousands and millions of people definitely but we have not created the flame we received the flame the flame been given to us by righteous people who sacrificed their own lives for us that gave their life for us that dedicated their lives to shine and to affect and to influence and to assist and to help and to support and to build an amazing machine, amazing building, amazing structure that is stable and fundamental and solid and stable in great ways. And we're enjoying the access into the rooms and into the archives and into the halls of purity and holiness because that those great builders built and designed it for us 
and made it accessible for us, wrote books, wrote songs, poets, and hand it in such a great and beautiful way on a silver plate to the late and furthest generations for the light to shine even in those dark hours of our crazy reality. The light of our ancestors is shining in our hearts and shining in our houses with our families, with our loved ones. And may we be worthy for that uh, great title, for that great reward to pass on the torch of Emuna, the torch of faith to our children and to our grandchildren and to all the people around us that are still thirsty and looking for their way, finding the path of truth in the dark world that is surrounding us today. May the light shine upon us all and be a blessing for us all, for healing, for happiness, for many, 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 many joyful hours among all our loved ones. And may peace and health heal and protect and complete us all and bring us to the days of redemption and complete salvation for all nations and for the whole wide world. Amen. Ken Yehi